time for bed. Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. Our main thing for today is to go and buy a couple of eggs from the general store. Oh, hello. So we get mulberries and mulberry leaves. Six fruit and one leaf. And it is the leaf that we need to use over here. Let's just uh, collect these first. Make more cloth or dyed cloth. Oh yeah, we only got one leaf. So, um, yeah, you should have... Uh, I guess one mulberry tree per silkworm box. Hmm. Just looking for ways to make money here. We could make the calcium powder. Yeah, we we need to complete the uh, ranch thing. Let's. Well. Collect this and this. Get more into the making here. And we'll make the calcium powder. And more levitation potions. Okay. Um, oh, the, uh, forge is, or, or the, uh, the blacksmith's shop is not open today. What about the general store? Oh, closed on Thursdays? Well. Nah. She's uh, practicing Tai Chi, I guess. Hello, Amira. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. I've had many a remedy in my day, but yours is the most potent, my friend. Well, hello, Shelby. Anybody have any, um, quests for me? I guess not. Maybe, um, since our plans for the day just fell through, um, maybe let's go and get the wood together for the ranch. Plenty of trees that we can cut down here. Oh, our summon small things has worn off. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. That is so much more convenient. Fifty more wood. One more. Finally. 
Huh. Out of energy. Well, let's hop on over here. We'll go take a bath. This is so handy. Hmm. How long should I soak for? We'll take a long soak. And I guess we could cut down some trees over here and uh, also I found something. A recipe. See what we can find. Strawberry shortcake. Now we can make our own. Finally. Just a little more wood. soup well this is a day of finding recipes I found something oh, a recipe coconut pudding Nothing over here. Alright, now we just need the money for the ranch. I think we have plenty of iron and copper ore. Oh, no fish here. Uh, so, um, hopefully the blacksmith's shop will be open tomorrow. Hello, Cleocatra. We'll be able to, um, get some ingots made and then sell them to Natalia. We will have to pay the initial cost of making the ingots, but we will make a profit. The ingots sell for more than it costs to make them. Let's use up the last of our sugar cane. I don't think we need it for anything other than making sugar. We could make seitan. But um... What else? Fish do? And restorative tea. That'll be handy in the mine. Ah, oh, we need, um, whiskey for that. Oh yeah, we need the, uh, was it coriander for the tomato soup and bread and onion for the corn soup. Alright, I guess once we get the ranch built... We'll have access to, well, kind of 
easier access to more animal products, I hope. Hmm, we could go mining. Get us even more ore to make into ingots and then sell those ingots to Natalia. Yeah, maybe we'll also end up finding an artifact or two. Mustn't forget to feed the cat. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? I suppose the artifacts are something that we find in rocks or... Feel free to ask me any questions you have about mining. <laughs> Yeah, we've already heard that. Or are the artifacts things that we find in those chests? But uh, we kind of tried to interact with a chest once and uh, it said it was locked. Oh, duh, we have a um, lockpicking incantation now. I guess we should um, sometime make a bunch of those and uh, take them with us when we go mining. That way, when we come across a chest, we can just use a lockpicking incantation on it. That's probably how they're meant to be opened. For now, we really need to save our money for the ranch project, so we'll just buy the eggs for the two lockpicking incantations that we need for the quest. But later on, when we have money to spend, we might buy some eggs and make some extra lockpicking incantations and um, see if we can use those to open the chests that we come across here in the mine. Another ruby. it all up and then we'll go home to bed. I am all... I could eat some... Let's go. It's already almost 11.30pm. A good time for us to go to bed and tomorrow we'll be able to hopefully buy those eggs and make those lock picking incantations uh, i'm sleepy
Oh yeah, we have over 200 copper. I think we can sell copper ingots to Natalia. Always, always more levitation potions. They are super handy. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. There we go. Let's forage a little. We haven't done that in a few days, so there ought to be some weeds and things over here. Now that I know that if we don't go foraging every day, the uh, things that spawn won't mm, despawn, they will just accumulate. I'm uh, kind of taking a bit of a more relaxed approach to foraging. Oh, yeah. There we go, breakfast for Cleocatra. Didn't you, Kitty? Alright, let's go see if Natalia's shop is... Actually, we'll go see about this first. These are also things that we can sell and make some money out of. Now we'll go see about Natalia's shop. Hello. Ugh, it's so hot. I feel like I'm melting. I'm melting because I spend all day smelting. Also, it's just uh, been a bit of a long summer. But hopefully the uh, season will be able to change soon. We could also sell some stone. We have so much of it. We'll sell like a hundred. There we go. And 20 iron ingots. We need 10 for the ranch, I think. And then, yeah, we could also sell copper ingots for 25 each. Costs 10 to make, so that'll be a profit of 15 each. We'll make like, um, I don't know, 50. And then we'll sell all of them. Oh, we already had one. And that's actually enough money to get the ranch. However, I do want to get some silver ingots made because I want to eventually upgrade that axe. We'll, um... We'll make some more copper ingots. And then sell them. We do need to leave some copper into our inventory as well though. So that we can keep making those copper essences.
let's do the ranch thing first and then we'll see what else we have money for after that. I've been working on a new roof for Amir's place. We can't have the roof cave in on the only person who could fix folks hurt by a roof cave in. <laughs> Should only take a day or so. Yay. All right. So that quest will be complete tomorrow. Let's go and see about those eggs. Hello, Kai. When it's warm, Shelby sometimes hangs out on the beach while I'm there. Some people don't like him, but like, pfft, why? We just sit there and vibe. And then he says something deep, and I nod. He's copacetic. <laughs> I like his attitude. Let's see. We'll sell the purple cloth. And the red cloth. Ooh, orange tree seedling. Yeah. Hi, Damon. What are you shopping for today? Just stop by to say hi to Lena. She's my unofficial big sister. Damon, if you're visiting me in your free time, it means you have too much of it. It's time for you to get a girlfriend. Uh... Come on, Lena. Stop busting Damon's chops. Maybe he doesn't feel like being in a relationship. Oh, come on. He's used to my teasing. What else is a big sister for? <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me, Tara, but Lena's right. I'm used to her ribbon, but I might be ready to meet the right person. So, you're single too, right? Mmm, I am. But I'm not sure I'm the right person for you. Hmm. Should we get... We'll just get two. This way, we still have enough money to upgrade our axe. It seems we have a new neighbor. I saw Cameron on his way to visit her, hoping to convert a new acolyte, I presume. I'm sorry. That wasn't very nice of me. I'm sure he was just being neighborly. I came across Giva wrapping up a meditation session on the beach, and we got to talking. Turns out we have more in common than I might have imagined. I'm glad she's here. Hmm. Maybe there's something there. Cameron and Giva. Ooh, paper. That'll be super easy. Sure, we'll do that. Hi again. Let's upgrade the axe. Three thousand and twelve gold ingots. All right. Tara, I just sold the ranch. Here's your share of the sale. The new rancher will arrive tomorrow. Go welcome him, won't you? Cordially, Mayor Otto Soft. 500 coins? All right. Yeah, we'll uh, go introduce ourselves to the new rancher tomorrow. Today, though... Let's make these. Wow, that used up a lot of magic. Tell the acolyte you have the lockpick incantations. 
since it said the acolyte, we will have to wait until the coven meeting. Let's start clearing this area. Finally. I'm sure that once the ranch is built, once that quest is completely done, we'll um, probably be able to uh, start repairing these, um, the stable, not the stable, the, um, the barn and the coop here. And that'll probably require us to clear some of this area. So, I figure why not get to it already? Do this while we wait for the uh, coven meeting to begin. since it's right here. And hmm. once again, we all should I soak for? Have a long soak. we're all refreshed except for our magic but we'll replenish that tonight let's get back to clearing that area a little I give up Emmy and Finn were asking me how my barometer worked, and I thought, wouldn't it be grand to have a summer science camp? But summer is almost over. At least it should be. This really is an old place. No, uh, trust me, the season will change soon. I hope it will. <laughs> I'm sure we'll need to get rid of this rock as well when we um want to rebuild the coop there. Oh, what's this? A recipe? Persian love cake. Ah, this rock will probably need to be removed also. Whoa! What's this? A recipe? Carrot cake. And let's get rid of this one too. And then we'll go to the meeting. Hello, Violet. What's up, Tara? Busy writing at your desk, I hope? You bet. We're ready to go. <laughs> Woohoo! Meet me by town hall between 8 and 11 tonight. Alright. My familiar started clawing at our back door and then prancing over to the couch like it's his. Sebastian's like, why is this cat so chill with you? And I'm like, uh, who knows? Cats, dude. <laughs> There we go. All replenished. Any 
any forageables. I'm not going to comb this whole area for them because we really need to get going to Town Hall to meet Violet. In fact, let's fly over. Phew, you came. I was afraid you might chicken out. Hey, I don't back out on my word. And I'll never doubt that again. Come on, speak the incantation to the door and it should open right up. Okay. Let's break in. To retrieve a magic rock, first this locked door must unlock. Ooh, we are smooth. Let's not celebrate just yet. We still have the display case. Yes, here it is. To retrieve a magic rock, first this locked case must unlock. Oh, not again! Run! I can't believe they didn't think of that. I'm so full of adrenaline. I'm a few seconds away from finally going through the stones. Hold up. Right now? Tonight? Obviously. No one can hold me back. At least let me come with you. I can't. What if it's dangerous? That's exactly why you should let me come. No one is going anywhere. What were you two thinking? Breaking into town hall? I didn't know an alarm would go off. Even if it didn't, you know how dangerous the gloaming is. That place? It changed my dad forever. And it took my mom. I need to find out what happened, Lena. I... I understand that. But no one goes into the gloaming alone. Not since... You know. Violet, I promise. We'll talk this all over at the Circle tomorrow. But for now, give me the Keystone. And go home. You were really going to go in by yourself? I didn't want you to get hurt. I'm sorry, Tara. Just when I figured I ferreted out all the surprises around here. Well, tomorrow's coven meeting should be interesting then. Now can we change the season? The mayor has asked you to assist with the repair of the ranch. The Farseer tells us it's important. See to it. All right, so you can't... Our ways must seem foolish and secretive to one who has not grown up in the coven. A little. We must wear disguises, we must meet in secret, and we must be careful of who we let into our order. To fail in these duties is to invite scrutiny from others. Then there's fear. Fear is dangerous and in the wrong hands, a weapon. It has always been this way. So you can't change summer into autumn until you build the ranch. Shall we? Do you have a familiar too? I got, uh, four right now, but I've had more. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? <laughs> Will we be seeing your familiar at the Coven Circle anytime soon? Nah, he's a beaver, so he doesn't come around here. But if you see any dams, make sure you shout, Good job, buddy! No. What about you, Adept? Is your familiar around here somewhere? Of course. She's a red fox that Ariel rescued from a trap a few years ago. She's a little skittish, but... Oh, I adore her. No. So sweet. Hmm. Well... I guess we could spend till midnight in the mine. Good thing the ranch quest will be completed tomorrow. Then we'll maybe be able to change the season. We'll see. 
In any case, tomorrow's coven meeting should be interesting. We'll discuss the uh, standing stones and and uh, what to do about maybe going after Violet's mom. Trying to find out what happened to her. get going soon enough. Just a few more rocks. Okay, let's go. we'll get to bed. So tomorrow we'll meet up with the new rancher and uh, find out a little more about the standing stones and the gloaming or the fairy realm and uh, hopefully we'll also be able to change the season. Until then though, Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. To conveniently keep up with my content. And to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.